Stage two of the Tour of the Alps was the longest of the week. The five-day stage race starting in Italy this time, going up into Austria and spending two days there. At Salorn, or Salorno, the northern part of Italy, start was given at 10.30 a.m. and this is what they had to take on. Two intermediate sprints on the way on the Brennero, the Brenner Pass, down close to Innsbruck but not quite into the big city itself before heading to a final second category climb on the day, the one that should, on paper at least, have decided the stage, the Gnadenfeld. Once the flag was waved, the Austrian national team were desperate to be in the break, going to home turf, and it would be Lukas Pusselberger who'd make it up the road. He'd be joined by Patrick Gamper, Alessandro De Marchi, as well as Mr. Breakaway himself, a man who's made a career out of it, Simon Pelot. Two riders, too, were there from the Japanese JCL team Ukyo. They were Yuma Koishi and Atsushi Oka. Tobias Foss was in the general classification lead. Green jersey on his back, and it seemed, with just under 60 k's could go, that the Ineos Grenadiers weren't too interested in bringing things back to the stage. Ben Swift and Salvatore Puccio would control for most of the day. Nobody in the break in any sort of danger for the GC. Closest rider at just under nine minutes. The terrain started to take its toll, as did the pace as Koishi was dropped. That left four left before Pustelberger was dropped. And then Gamper, a Tyrolese rider riding in his home region, attacked. He took as many as 20 seconds with 33 k's to go on the two other chasers. But Pelo and De Marchi would work their own way back. And as Geraint Thomas had a bike change, the Ineos Grenadiers knocked off the pace and it was pretty nailed on that things were going to go to the breakaway. On to the final climb of the day, Gamper wouldn't stay out for long. He'd be caught by both Pelo and De Marchi, the latter going straight past the Austrian as he attacked with 18 kilometers remaining. It was grit your teeth time for Pelo, still chasing a first ever European win on his palmares. His only previous victory having come at the Tour of Hainan six years before this day. Alessandro De Marchi, a three-time winner of Vuelta stages, still chasing at almost 38 years of age, a victory in his home Giro d'Italia and hoping to stamp his ticket to the Italian race starting in a couple of weeks' time. And here he went away brilliantly. Two k's to go to the top of the climb when he left Pillow behind. In the peloton, there were a couple of movements from Steinhauser and Bau, but they weren't going anywhere. De Marchi was going all the way to the finish line, taking out over a minute of a gap in the end, celebrating and enjoying the final kilometre, and taking his own first win in almost three years, his team's first win in just over two months. On his first ever team boss, Gianni Savio's birthday as well. De Marchi victorious, a seventh career win at a first ever at the Tour of the Alps. He would celebrate. Jacob Alula having had a second place on day one and coming close with Harper, this time getting their victory. And behind Gamper would sprint away for second place and take a good result on home roads. Pillow would finish third. And behind in the peloton, no changes in the overall general classification, really. De Marchi, a popular rider in the peloton, with Mühlberger, Austrian champion on home roads, winning the sprint for fourth place. Celebration then for the Aussie team with their Italian leader, having taken the victory from the break. Peloton coming home in the end, 147 down. A big man on the podium then for almost 38 years old, Alessandro De Marchi. Refining victory as Tobias Foss refines a place on the podium in the green jersey. He still leads by four seconds over Chris Harper with Esteban Chavez in third at six seconds. O'Connor at 10, the rest of those GC contenders at 13. And the Ineos Grenadiers, just as they had 12 months previously, with Theo Gegenhardt in charge, going into stage three. The Tour of the Alps stays in Austria for day three.